Hey boys and girls. So today we're starting a new module. We're now in module two. And this module is working on measuring using the metric system. So eventually we're gonna be using our rulers, but for right now, we're gonna measure using centimeter cubes. So for the first part of your homework, they've actually drawn the centimeter cubes for you. So you're gonna count up the centimeter cubes and see how long each item is. Um, I'm gonna let you do the first two on your own because those ones, the centimeter cubes start where the item starts and they end where the item ends. So those are fairly easy. Uh, we can look closer at number three. Number three is a clothespin and it starts where the centimeter cubes start but it actually ends right here. So when you're counting your cubes up, make sure you don't count this last one because the clothespin ends before you get to that one. And this is the very last one. Be careful because it doesn't start where the centimeter cube starts. It actually starts right here and then it also doesn't end where the cubes end. It ends on this one. So we can go ahead and do this one together. This would be my first centimeter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The marker is 10 centimeter cubes long. So I didn't include this centimeter cube or any of these. All right, looking at the second page, it is three word problems. The first one says, Richard has 43 centimeter cubes. Henry has 30 centimeter cubes. What is the length of their cubes all together? So I want to put these numbers together. I know that Richard has 43. I'm using a tape diagram to model this one. And Henry has 30. And I put my tapes right next to each other because it, it wants to know the length of the cubes together. So I put them together. And when I get my answer, I'll put my answer right in here. So I need to solve 43 plus 30. And I'll let you solve this one on your own because you don't need a strategy for it since 30 is a multiple of 10. And you'll put your answer right in here. And then you could also write a statement. It says, what is the length of their cubes together? You could say, the length of their cubes together is, and then put in your answer. Number six says, the length of Marissa's loaf of bread is 54 centimeters. She cut off and ate seven centimeters of bread. What is the length of what she has left? Well, we know her bread started being 54 centimeters. So I'm gonna use a tape diagram again. It originally was 54 centimeters. And what happened is she cut off some of it and ate it. So she ate seven of these centimeters. So I'm gonna need to take away seven. So I'm gonna draw a second tape where I have taken away the seven, and I'll say that this chunk represents the seven that she had eaten, sorry, that she ate. So if I've got a part and a whole, if I wanna find the other part, I need to subtract. So 54 minus seven. All right, so if I go to subtract like units, I have four ones, and I would need to take away seven ones, but I can't do that because four is not big enough. So I'm gonna use my take a 10 strategy. I will 
will take a 10 out of 54, which leaves me with 44. And now I can solve 10 minus 7. I know that 10 minus 7 is 3. And then I add in my leftover 44. 3 plus 44. So four ones plus three ones. Well, I know three plus three would be six. So three plus four would be one more than six. It would be seven. And now I have four tens. And there's no tens in this number, so I just have four tens, which gives me the answer of 47. So I know she has 47 centimeters left. And I could even write that in a statement. I could say Marissa has 47 centimeters of bread left. The last one says, the length of Jimmy's math book is 17 centimeter cubes. All right, so his math book I know is 17 centimeter cubes. His reading book is 12 centimeter cubes longer. So this is an important word, longer. His reading book isn't 12 centimeter cubes long. It's 12 centimeter cubes longer than the math book. So his reading book is going to be first this same 17 centimeters and now we need to go 12 centimeters longer than that. So to find the length of his reading book, I need to add my 17 and my 12 together. All right guys, I hope that was helpful. I'll see you in class tomorrow.